I find teachers are, are very quick to to appreciate the, the coolness, so to speak, of, of what technology can do, but then once once the dollars are spent and it's in their hands, that's when everyone seems to go, well, wait a minute, what, what do we do with this? You know, I have to completely change how I teach. So it started off as an internal process at McCrell, uh, looking at the changes that were happening in the classrooms and schools, uh, we started rethinking our role and, and realizing that you know, if we do business the way we've been doing it uh, since 66, you know, we, we might become outdated, so we better start looking at what, how education might look by 2020. We came up with what's called critical uncertainties. We worked with the Global Business Network who trained us in scenario planning process. The two most critical for us were um, School reform, is this going to, are we going to completely reinvent schooling or are we going to optimize and make, make the best of what we have? And then the purpose of education, are we moving towards um, a more standardized uh, look at education where everyone gets, you know, we, we can guarantee you everyone will have the same knowledge and skill set by the time they graduate, or are we getting to more personalized? And, and we see evidence of both of those right now. The common core is more standardized, but we have tools to personalize like we've never had before. The future of schooling looks at four possible scenarios based on our perceptions of critical uncertainties by 2020 and what, uh, what the role of the student and teacher is in, the, in those four imaginary worlds.